Hi, everyone. Welcome to a conversation today uh, with two startup founders. We're going to be talking about what it's like founding and building and leading a new early stage company. Uh, in tech, there's so much diversity from small companies to big companies uh, and everything in between. But this conversation is specifically around founding a startup. Um, it's certainly a unique journey. And we have two startup founders from different parts of Ohio do, building two different companies with us today. Uh, so Naveed and Nicole, I'd love to welcome you. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Really looking forward to learning more about your journey, which led you to your startup. But to start, maybe share a little bit about what you're building now, what your current role is, uh, and what you're doing. So Naveed, why don't you go first? Tell us about Dollar. Yeah, thank you. Very, very excited to be here. And it's so inspiring even to me to think that we're speaking to people who are going to build the next unicorns and the, and the trillion dollar companies of the future. Uh, and if we're able to influence that even a little bit, I think that's just a wonderful thing. So I'm uh, Naveed Iqbal. I'm a CEO and co-founder here at Dollar. Uh, we help people get extra cash for their student loan payments because who wants to pay their own student loans? That's awesome. Nicole, how about you? Hi, I'm Nicole Pelosi, the founder and CEO of OndiCare. Um, and I so echo what Naveed just said. Not only the founders of the next unicorns, but the future employees of the businesses we're building today, um, so that you will then become the, the 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 founders of the next unicorn. So, with te technology and eventually AI, or what they call machine learning, OndiCare is solving the caregiving crisis by empowering professional caregivers, nurses, teachers, home health aides, and elevating their pay to a worthwhile level. On the OndiCare app. Families can get reliable in-home care within minutes that fits their schedule and their budget for every loved one in their family, be it their newborn or their aging parent with dementia. And on our SaaS platform, employers can stem the costly exodus of high-value employees by providing support of family care. Awesome. Well, Naveed, Nicole, thank you so much. And I'm also joining this because I'm the president and CEO of Ohio X. Uh, but my startup kind of story is a little bit different from Naveed and Nicole's, where I started a, a nonprofit. And so Ohio X, what we're doing is connecting, promoting, and advocating for tech in our state. Uh, it's a nonprofit, so it's, it's, it's in some cases quite different than, than a traditional startup where you raise a lot of money and sometimes millions upon millions of dollars. Uh, but in other cases, it, it can be quite similar. And so we thought it'd be fun to kind of have a range of startup founders um, that have built early stage companies, created new things. And in the tech world, it's called zero to one. So we start with nothing and then you're building something and get to that one. Uh, but Naveed, I'd love to kind of go back to you and talk a little bit about your story because you have a, a you know, you, you have worked at big companies. Um, you have three degrees, I think, maybe maybe more. I don't know. You're really, really smart. Um, <laughs> but you hear in the, in the news a lot about kind of the startup founders and Mark Zuckerberg at Meta is a perfect example where he was in college, but dropped out to go start his company. Uh, but your path's been a little bit different where you got a bunch of degrees, you worked at some really big companies, uh, and then you started a company. So if you wouldn't mind just sharing a little bit about what your journey's been like. Yeah. Yeah. Happy to do that. So I, uh, I love math. And so I spent most of my life studying math. And, you know, I would see these people, like, read these stories about people dropping out of college to start businesses. And I was like, ah, who does that? Like, it's like, this is so much fun. You know? <laughs> so, um, so I was very lucky uh, to be able to, you know, to have the privilege to do that. One smart thing I did while I, was, while I was in school is between degrees, so between my undergrad and master's, I would go and I would work in the real world. I wanted to see what it was like. Right? So I worked as a software engineer was not for me. You know, I realized that very quickly. Uh, very fun stuff, but it just wasn't what I wanted to do. And I worked as a risk analyst at a big bank after my master's. And that was really fun, but it was also not like super aligned with what I wanted to do. And it was very dangerous too. Uh, and then uh, I got my PhD and I went back to a big bank because I really enjoyed some aspect of that. It was finance, right? I thought finance was really interesting. Uh, servicing millions and millions of people, protecting their money, making it easy for them to spend and save and invest. Uh, so fascinating. Um, and so I worked there for a little while in a different uh, in a different position as a product manager and a data scientist. Uh, so all of those things helped me get, build a better understanding of what I wanted to do with myself. I think that, that's really the, the, the fun part of the journey is I knew I wanted to do something independently to help people and over the course of time, I collected all of these little bits and pieces of like how I'm going to do it. What is it that I actually get excited about? 
Um, and here we are with Dollar today. That's awesome. Nicole, what about you? How, what's your journey been like to starting Care? Well, I, I, I don't have the elevated degrees that Naveed has. Neither do I. <laughs> and, and what's really interesting is, you know, a, a startup founder can have any kind of a background. Oh. People always ask me, are you a nurse or a mm-hmm. doctor? Um, because I'm a girl, they ask me if I'm a nurse first, always. But I'm not. Um, I graduated from Purdue University with a dual degree, professional writing and theater. Um Neither one of those say I'm going to run a tech company right one day, Um, but they both gave me extraordinary transferable skills. My theater concentration was in direction. The foundation for my career was with a very large company, American Express. I was in large market account management and sales, and then I was recruited to what they called the Team Amex, which was their internal consultancy. We built Wikipedia-like databases back in the late 90s, before Wikipedia even existed. Um, And I led that team, the knowledge management team back then. I also was recruited to be in their first Six Sigma Black Belt cohort. And that's just a a fancy term or or a a process for, for improving processes to the nth degree, eliminating defects out of a process. And 3M made that popular, Um, but American Express was able to apply that defect reduction methodology to service as opposed to um, products like 3M. Um, So more than 20 years ago, being in the business world and consulting primarily and uh, process improvement uh, before Uber even existed, I used to dream of a taxi dispatch-like service that would drop off a tenured nurse or retired teacher to my home to take care of my toddler as they balanced the demands of my job and flew to the UK every six weeks. Um, and that's, that's been a, a problem I've been thinking about for 20 years. And then years later, as a caretaker of my in-laws, I said something has to fix the fact that there's not um, readily available uh, quality on-demand in home care. And that's where, where I am now. <laughs> that's awesome. And that was actually my next question, which is the perfect segue for, for Naveed. I'd love to hear your kind of like aha moment where you discovered the dollar. And, and I know you've also pivoted names, right? So companies, you're always changing things and you're building things, especially in the early stage. Uh, but like Nicole's story of kind of over time, she saw it, was it over time for you or was it kind of like a, a, a single moment in time where you're like, this idea just struck me and I got to get working on it. It was, uh, it was neither actually it was. So I'm very, very lucky. I keep like, I truly believe I'm so lucky. I had the opportunity after I worked at uh, this big bank, I worked and I worked at an incredible startup, very well funded. Um, and after that, I had this opportunity to to just sit and think what I wanted to do with myself. Right. Like I had the, I didn't have to worry about paying my bills or anything. I was very, very privileged. Um, and so I made a list. I said, you know, what are the things I love? Mathematics, obviously. Finance. Yeah. People. I love people. And so I was exploring these three things and seeing, like, what can I use the things I'm good at to help other people? Um, And my wife was paying her student loans one day, and she was just having a fight with her computer because she was trying to do the right thing. And she was having such a hard time, right? And something blew up in my head. I was like, I spent most of my life uh, in school. How did I miss education? Like, why is that all on my list? Uh, So I, I dug into it, called some of my best friends up, and we realized that there was a real problem. Um, and that we had all the tools necessary to solve it. And so we started off. That's awesome. And I, I love this is a loaded question for a startup founder, but what is a, a day in the life like for, for both of you? Uh, and uh, I see Nicole, you're laughing. We'll start with you because for, you know, and, and I love your perspective because that you'll be sharing and you, you to be too, where you've worked at the big company, the American Express or, or a big bank where uh, that kind of day in the life can be very different than the day in the life of a startup founder. Um, we'll start with, you know, you get to wear t-shirts uh, to, to <laughs> work at startups sometimes where uh, at a big bank or kind of bigger institutions, that always isn't the case. But Nicole, well, what's a day in the life for, for you like at Andy Care? It, the only analogy I have is it's a roller coaster. You've got great things happening each day, each hour, and you've got painful rejection happening alternating days, hours, Um, tackling every aspect of creating and building a business at the same time while raising money um, to be able to stay alive. Um, So you're doing everything. Uh, Sometimes you you get down a rabbit hole 
and you realize you haven't done 17 things that needed to be get to get done. And so then you miss dinner. <laughs> um, but every day is like a roller coaster. You're, you're forced out of your comfort zone as you have to do everything and be responsible for it all. Um, and you're forced to learn things constantly. So if you love to learn, um, that's great. Uh, if you're a Naveed, it's, it's even better because being able to love math and I love math, probably not as much as Naveed, but thank, thankfully I can crawl into spreadsheets and, and financial models and then also put together a, a marketing flyer um, if need be. So, but the marketing stuff was not my bailiwick, but I had to learn it. I had to learn the ins and outs of digital marketing, the ins and outs, what's programmatic marketing. I had to learn all of that to be able to um, figure out how to spread the awareness of the business. So every aspect of the business, so if you want to have your fingers in all the pies, it's perfect for you, <laughs> but it's, it's a roller coaster. That's great. How about you, Naveed? You know, I think it'd be so fun, Nicole, if we, if we sat down and made a list of all the things we have learned, which we never expected to learn. <laughs> exactly. That would be fun. It would be, I think it would be fun to do like a master class on learning things that I didn't need, think I needed to learn. You know, like, uh, but it's very, very similar experience. My days are um, a mixture between very structured and extremely unstructured. And it's completely unpredictable when that lack of structure arises, right? Like sometimes you do just go up down a, a rabbit hole because it's important. But when you do that, other things don't get done. Because, you know, with startups, you're a small team. And if you don't do it, then it doesn't get done, right? Luckily, we have an incredible team at Dollar that, that supports each other. So if somebody goes down a rabbit hole and is like, oh, man, somebody else needs to handle this thing, we're able to accommodate, um, you know, within reason because everybody wants to go down rabbit holes all the time, right? Like, that's fun. We're thinkers. Uh, I mean, but I think Nicole covered it. Like, you have to do a lot of different things. Uh, you have to be happy to do those different things. Uh, and so I think a willingness to learn and above all, a burning curiosity is what uh, keeps us going. Yeah, I love that. And it uh, it is so true where you have to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and it can change by minute by minute throughout the day. And uh, uh, it can be tough where, Nicole, as you said, you look up and, you know, you missed lunch and you're starting to miss dinner. And it's like, where did the day go? Uh, which, you know, there's a lot of jobs that are incredibly busy. But I think for me, the biggest thing is just how often you have to switch those hats from one minute having to do stuff around the financial stuff or bookkeeping. The other could be marketing. The next, it could be talking to a customer or a client or something like that. And so yep. you're just constantly taking things off where in other jobs, and I've worked at more traditional organizations, uh, people have very specific roles and very specific function functions. And you become, you know, in, in theory, an expert in that one very specific thing. But in this, you kind of, kind of got to know a little bit of it all, but that's probably a good segue to our, our final question that I wanted to chat about today. Um, and that is, you know, what would your recommendation be for a student uh, that, you know, is considering a tech career or saying, hey, maybe one day I might like to build a startup or maybe one day, maybe I don't want to start it myself, but I'd like to go work for one um, because there's a lot of different paths and a lot of different opportunities. Uh, but what would your kind of recommendation be to a student or, you know, I guess maybe another way to think about it. What is something you wish you would have known uh, when you're around high school age? And we'll go Naveed, you first and then uh, finish up with Nicole. There is no substitute for doing. And I wish I knew that very early, like coming from academic background, right? Thinking, theory, reading, those are all so important. Uh, but when it comes to a startup, there's literally no substitute. You can read all the management books, read all the finance books, read all the how to start up books. It doesn't matter. Like there's yeah. absolutely no substitute for doing. So the quicker you get started, the more likely you are to have a lot more fun. I love that. Nicole? So true. So true. Um, if you're constantly thinking about doing something better or something bothers you because it could be done better, this may be for you. Naveed sat down and created a whole list. Um, this one kept nagging at me for years. But if you're not willing to do everything from taking out the trash to putting the million dollar funding check in the bank, you, you might not uh, get enough done. Um, finally, I believe optimism is the key. So this is, if I hadn't, I, I didn't know this either, but if I didn't have optimism and I started down this path, I would have been sorely disappointed because I honestly think that optimism is the bedrock or the foundation for resiliency. Um, so you have to be resilient. You have to be able to take rejection and failure in one minute and then have your 
um, your sales hat on in the next. Um, and it happens daily. Um, so ask yourself if you're an optimistic person by nature. Nature. I, I love that, Nicole. And it, it's uh, incredibly true where, you know, in, in startups and, and building something new, because each of you are creating something new that hasn't existed, uh, you know, you're not going to get it right every single time. And uh, even the big success stories and the billion dollar companies we hear today, uh, there's a lot of interesting kind of twists and turns. And there's, you know, if you were to sit down and have a conversation with one of those founders uh, that's now worth a lot of money, they would probably have uh, some incredible stories of all the times it didn't go right, but eventually it led to uh, that one thing, get, you know, happening and, and happening really, really well. But Naveed, Nicole, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been really fun to have this conversation um, and we're really grateful that you were willing to share it with us and hopefully a bunch of great students across the state that maybe have an interest in building or starting or going to work at their own startup company someday. But this has been our conversation with a couple startup founders, which we're really grateful to both of them for taking their time. Uh, you can continue to follow along on this Ohio Tech Day TV. Uh, and of course, as you're you know, uh, in the conversation talking about tech, use hashtag Ohio Tech Day. Uh, to make sure we can get Ohio Tech trending today, which is really fun. But Naveed, Nicole, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate all you're doing, and we'll continue to watch both the successful companies you're building and can't wait to see what's next. So thanks, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.